Here's a headline to strike fear into many a palate. Nutella causing cancer. I can't tell you how many questions I had during the last week about this, whether or not this is, is true. Nutella, interesting little concoction. You know, it dates back really to the, uh, oh, almost 100 years. And there was a shortage of chocolate in Italy. And that's when Michel Ferraro, an Italian chocolatier, had the idea of mixing a little bit of cocoa powder with uh, hazelnut paste. And that created Nutella. Well, it's been an Italian favorite. They have it for breakfast. They smear it in all kinds of things. So you can imagine the panic in Italy when some stores started to pull Nutella off the shelves. Why? Because of a report from the European Food Safety Association suggesting that there were substances that were present in the uh, palm oil that is used to make this really spreadable. Because if you just take chocolate and you take hazelnuts, it doesn't become really spreadable. You need something to liquefy it, and that's palm oil. Well, when palm oil, which is made from the fruit of, the, uh, of a palm tree, the specific kind of palm tree, the, palm, uh, the, the fruit has uh, kind of a flesh in it, and you extract that and you express the, the oil, but it has to be refined. And uh, when it is refined at a high temperature, there's a substance that is formed. Uh, this is called glycidol. And uh, to us chemists, uh, we look at this molecule, glycidol. It's a very simple uh, molecule. But it has this intriguing little feature we call an epoxide. And that suggests that there could be an issue here because this moiety here can react with DNA. And that can trigger cancer. So there is reason to, to be concerned about this. But of course, the question is amount. How much is formed? Well, it turns out that this substance forms only at a temperature above 200 degrees. And it turns out that the palm oil that is used in the processing of, of Nutella is not heated above that temperature. So we would have a minimal amount of this carcinogen. Uh, but as soon as you raise the term carcinogen, people panic uh, about this. But you have to remember that we consume carcinogens all the time. When you bite into a piece of bread, the crust will contain acrylamide. That's a known carcinogen. You heat up some meat, you form benzopyrenes. Carcinogens, arsenic is found in naturally occurring in, in soil. That's a carcinogen. We have molds that give us aflatoxins. So we live in a world full of carcinogens. The question is how much of it gets into our body? In this case, very, very little. It really is an insignificant uh, amount. So this is a way over bone scare that has no practical uh, meaning. However, I'm not going to tell you that Nutella is a health food. Let's face it. What it is is sugar and fat. And of course, a pretty good taste that is mixed in there. So no, I wouldn't worry about the cancer connection. I would have more concern about the sugar and the fat that is in there. So let me replace your cancer fear by a heart disease fear. Well, no, I'm just kidding. Because again, here too, amounts matter. And if you're going to take a little bit of Nutella and spread it on a cookie, incidentally, this cookie has palm oil, as do many foods, including ice cream and, and infant formula and cakes of all kinds. They are made with palm oil. That cookie actually has more of this supposedly worrisome substance than there is in Nutella. But as Paracelsus told us over 500 years ago, only the dose makes the poison. And although glycidol may be present in here, the amount is insignificant. So I don't worry about eating Nutella or the cookie below it. Hmm. But you know what? I wouldn't smear truckloads of Nutella on bread every morning and have that for breakfast. I think I'll go back to my oatmeal with berries.